10. Okay. And now I can pretty much from level from page five. Mm -hmm. and hello, down. everybody. And are we online? Uh, yeah, we're online there, but uh, please continue. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, surprise! Well, I'm sorry, folks. I'm uh, busy making up the search for today's module, but I can do that <laughs> after the event. So, good afternoon. <laughs> And we'll I'll make sure he does. Another Sunday of LRGS. Today's module, LRG, LRGS 1 8, an unexpected kinship. Yeah. Yay! And, uh, yay. Yay. And of course, the verbiage. Blurbage, <laughs> babe? Blurbage, yes. The blurb for the module. First time I've heard you use the phrase the blurbage. The blurbage is thus. Yes. And thus is the blurbage. So far, like the halls of Clan Brightstor have been infested with, with undead. Mm. Why should you think things would be different this time? Right. An adventure recommended for characters levels two. Yay! Because we all Yay. leveled up. Because we leveled last module and we've all uh, upgraded our characters. By the way, Larry, if, I don't know if you noticed, but I fixed your hit points. You did not have 72 hit points. <laughs> 72? Wait, wait a minute. What the? Where did it say 72? Yeah, for some reason, uh, your you had um, um, your character sheet, um, Hold on. you had like um under hit points, you had like uh, on class hit points, you had twenty three. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to. <laughs> And if you do that, I mean, take a look. No, you do 23 hit points, and that brings you up to, like, 62 hit points. Yeah, because that's per level. Yeah. So, you know, you have 10 hit points, and the sheet automatically calculates your new hit points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the okay. class should have been 10 plus con. Which is what it was. 36 hit points. By the way, my glimpse of redemption is now more effective against undead. Uh, well, we've been discussing and um, about, you know, possibly doing some multi-classing and how you do that. And what you do, you take the multi-class archetype feats and you get access to you know, certain things. Because um, James Quincy is actually thinking about going Redeemer of Saloon. Since he's neutral good, which means he would get you know the um, some things you know, along those lines. But... Um, so you're um hey stay in your own lane whoa whoa <laughs> what prompted that <laughs> so uh the ally gains resistance to all damage against the triggering damage equal to two plus your level after the damage is applied the enemy becomes in field two until the end of the next round if the foe is undead, the resistance is five greater. Uh, that's, yeah, that's if you take the shine, Shining Oath feat. All right. So. So. When we last left our band of adventurers, they were up in the city. 
Mm -hmm. And they were having a grand old time. Oh, especially Nick Nick and his Gabby friends as well. Nick Nick. In fact, let me read the box text here. Those five days above ground did wonders for your state of mind. Reconnecting with old friends, carousing in the many taverns and alehouses of Raven's Bluff, performing services at the local temple, or even showing your quote-unquote godly friends the wonders of the surface world have recharged <laughs> your spirit. Yeah, of course. Your return to the Great Hall has given your eyes time to readjust to the gloom. Durgan Vladex has checked in with you. In a day or so, in, in a day and a day ago, gave you advance warning that a mission was imminent. Now, as you follow the dwarf who brought you Durgan's summons, you find yourself walking with a little spring in your step. Oh, <laughs> Durgan, of course, once you enter his office, he bids you be seated and says, Well, from the reports I received, you folks had a good time up above. Mm. I hope you're ready to get back to work. Yay! yay. <laughs> it's like, like work, 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 okay. work. Lots of work. Nick, that goes to work. To, we are going to do one more foray into Clan Breadsword's halls. From what we have been able to determine, the level you will be exploring today was used as living quarters for the priesthood. Mm. The mission <laughs> remains the same, but I did you a favor, and you're getting a pay raise. Oh, well, more chicken yeah. shines. To I, it's 18 like... gold pieces per mission. Oh, nice. Clear the level, find the stairway down, report back here when you clear the level. Da, 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 da. If you don't have any questions, good luck, and I'll see you upon your return. And so, down the hallway, through levels one, two, and three, at which point you go down the steps, and you find yourself here. You can see what looks to be a four-way intersect. Uh, well, let me read the back text. Descending stairs, you can almost immediately come to a four-way intersection. Anybody want to step forward into the said intersection? Hmm. I'll go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can see that the hall to the left opens up into an immense chamber. The hallway ahead opens up into another chamber. And the hallway to the right has an opening on the right wall right about there. All right. About 20 feet down. It also continues on into darkness. Okay. Uh, every once in a while, uh, thanks to one of uh, Nick Nick's uh, newer abilities there, uh, you'll notice that his uh, little uh, gobby goggles there uh, tend to flash green every once in a while. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm I'm repeatedly uh, casting Detect Magic every couple minutes or so. Uh, the Detect okay. Magic uh, or is if anything uh, pops up. Uh, since that is a exploration. <laughs> so which way would you like to go? Hmm. Uh, Drogon will move into the room to the uh, left. Take okay, well, when you do that. Uh-oh. Uh Nick Nick don't like Emerging this. into this L-shaped room, you can see that it is filled with numerous bunk beds, mm. each with a chest nearby. Oh, dear. The bedding on the bunks is in tatters and has rotted with age. The floor has two huge area rugs, Odo also tattered from uh, mis you know, a news through the centuries. You can see a doorway over here into another area. Oh, I think up here. You can see an opening into maybe a small office area. Hmm. 
What really draws your attention are the five skeletal figures advancing upon you from dis different directions, each uh -oh. with a rusty scimitar. Oh, and... a rusty scimitar is no good. <laughs> These skeletons need better scimitars. All right, Snick Mac says so. And... and so. Are we doing an initiative type scenario? We are doing an initiative type scenario. So, um, Nick Nick got very fast today. Tom, we were talking earlier. Do you want me to roll initiative? And okay. Roll? It depends on. Uh, now, on your character sheet, you can choose what you roll for initiative. Yes, you can. For example, under initiative, next to the right of the initiative button, you see where it says perception. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to be sneaky and you roll something, you could roll a stealth. Yep. Or um, what was the other one? Deception? Yep, deception oh. or stealth. Mm. Most likely stealth. Yes, yeah, especially yeah, my you're... stealth. My st oh, we didn't. Uh, my thievery is what has expert love. Stealth is. Yes. Oh, let's see. Stealth, well, deception is one less than stealth, but stealth is still one better, so. Hmm. so. I don't see stealth on there. Oh, there it is up the top. <laughs> It's not alphabetical. Okay. All right. So there's. <coughs> All right. So James Quincy. Hooey who? Hooey who? What's hooey who? He said hooey who? Hooty I who? said hooey who. Hmm. Nick Nack wonders what hooey who is it all about. All right. So it looks like Illy is going to go first. Okay. Um, Do you roll for the bad guys? Yes. And they uh, wound up getting a nine. So mm -hmm. the, everybody will be first. So, um, Illy, yes, you'll get sneaky dice on these suckers. Yeah, nice. Because you're going flat footed on it. Yeah. Do I? Am I able to move through the squares with the. Yes, you're yeah, able to move through friendly squares. I mean the one with like the bed. Mm, I would uh, say I would personally say difficult terrain, but yeah, it would be difficult terrain, especially since they're bunk beds. You gotta crawl through them. Yeah, I, or theoretically, I could do what like acrobatics to try and just put like vault over them. Yeah, do like um, parkour. Uh, what parkour. what does um what does difficult terrain mean? That counts as two or yeah. What? Yeah, okay, it's so just here. One, two, four. Um, I guess I'm. Wow, that little sucker is like. I can't get in the same square as him. Let me get this other one. Yeah, I'll get down here. Uh, that's a natural one. Okay. Not always a good and thing. <laughs> an off, off hand. Which is still get hit. That will hit. Um, I believe it's not 10 over their AC. Let me see. They have an AC of 16. So yes, it is 10 over. So that's a crit. Uh, isn't that less, though? What? It's a 21. 
Okay, it is 21, so, okay. But he did ten, six searching paths. The 10 total. So, yeah, the 10 total, max five off, guess what? And then my third, is he still up? Uh, yeah, but you moved, moved. you moved. moved. Yep, 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 I know. You're right. Okay, Jogan, you're up. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Here's my new handy dandy mace. New jiggly shine? Oh, that'll hit. And then which one are you attacking here? This one? So put away. The one I'm next to. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I uh, there? Okay. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why it shifted me. But yeah, that one. Yeah, you will crunch it and it will die. It goes bye bye. Oh, yeah. oh. Um, I will. Uh, James Quincy. I will Actually, he'll move and he will attack. What level of undead was that? Was that? Was one? Minus one. Yep. Level of minus one? Yeah. yeah. That's how they calculate it. And that is that is a major league miss. Uh, so I will do my second attack at minus five. Uh, but that will be a hit for four damage, but guess what? He's only got four hit points. Yay, dead. <laughs> okay. Ariel will move. And we'll attack twice. And she will actually go, ha, ha, ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go, wrong sword. Ooh -hoo. And that is a crit. It's, um, How good did I do, babe? <laughs> oh, you don't even need to do your offhand attack because he did a little. Because you did 11 piercing slashing and 14 critical. Oh, Somewhere yeah. in there, you killed it. <laughs> Some, yeah, just someplace uh, between all that. Okay. Yeah, uh, crack, one left. Yep, I see it, and I am going to go ahead, do what I do best, teleconnect projectile. Let's go blunt. Let's, uh, let's go spell. <laughs> He's bringing up a blunt. <laughs> oh boy! It's, uh, oh yeah, that's a hit, and that's a crunch. That's a crunch, and that's a death. Yeah, that is very much a crunch. It's not. It's not a crit. Ah, shucks. It's not a crit, but it is a crunch, and that is a death. Okay. Yeah. So nobody took damage. Yeah. It's, hmm. That's what happens when uh, you get the initiative on the bad guys. That is true. Okay. So, so searching this room. Yep, and I'll do my uh, magical ping-pings there that Nick knack now likes to do. Yeah, ping-ping, ping-ping, ping. Ping-ping, ping. Okay. Up here in the office... Um, they're not magical, but they are two suits of armor. Mm. One is a set of dwarven half plate armor. Ooh. Size four dwarf. Yeah. Ooh. A set of dwarven split mail armor. Also size four dwarf. 
And with your thing, you can, uh, you will search, of course, you search all the chests. None of them are trapped, by the way. Yeah. In one, out. bing, 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 you find a mesmerizing opal. Oh. Uh, hey, Tickly sign! Tickly sign! Fine. I can't pretend Ariel. No, because Ariel deserves tickly shines. And the mesmerizing opal does. Uh, if the outcome of your triggering deception check is a critical failure, you get a failure instead of. Or if the outcome is a success, you get a crit critical success. Nice. Pretty much your trigger is your attempted deception check to faint, but you haven't rolled yet. Sounds good. Um, pretty much it gets. Pretty much it gets affixed to your armor. Okay. Uh, one thing. And I've... there is a vial hmm. with some liquid in it. Yeah. With a big skull and crossbones on it. <coughs> Nick Nack know what that is. There, Nick Nack don't like it. You have a vial of belladonna poison. Yeah. Keep away, keep away. Hey, that's that's bad stuff. Nick Nack no like that stuff. What does Belladonna poison? Uh, well, let's uh, find out here. Let's go to. Hold the... on. <laughs> so, chemical items. Oh, chemical poisons. Here we go. Belladonna. Level 2 poison. Onset 10 minutes, max duration 30 minutes. Uh, and dazed one, well, dazzled for 10 minutes. Uh, D6 poison damage at stage two, two, and second one. Stage three is D6 poison damage, confused in second one. And it's an ingested, so you gotta actually uh, swallow it down. It's a, it dazzles him and it confuses him? Um, well, stage one is dazzled, yeah, but the uh, later stage, stage three, is uh, damage confused and sickened. So. so it's not horribly evil. Um, eh, could be there. It depends on uh, how badly you get confused by it. Um, by the way, uh, uh, one thing I uh, knickknack will do. Hold on here. Okay, okay. Holding. Uh, knickknack will cast a spell while we're waiting. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, let's see, save me throw DC 19 for onset 10 minutes, duration 30, stage 1, 6 poison, second, mm. uh, stage 3, D6 poison, confused, and second. Yeah. And activate is interact, so it's in, yeah, in just yeah, poison, but. You have poison. Yeah. And you can sell it if you wish. All right. Uh, Drogon would like to um, switch to uh, the uh, half plate. Okay. Hmm. So I think Drogon is going to definitely want to um, want the half plate armor, right? Right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely opposed to using certain circumstances. Uh, actually, never mind, because I I thought that I was wearing scale, but it looks like I was wearing splint, which gives the same protection. Okay. All right. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Nick has ideas for this. Nick Nack's yeah. always got ideas. <laughs> Nick Nack's a smart gobby. Hmm. <sighs> Ow. 
crap, that hurt. <laughs> All right, so all right, so let's see here. So you want to check out this office down here? Yeah, I'm checking out. Yeah. That. All right, checking out the office. Hmm. This 25 foot by 25 foot chamber was obviously the quarters for someone of high rank. The quarters are occupied by a bed, a armoire, a dresser, and a desk. Mm, someone gets a good sleep. A richly woven rug, rug in terrible shape lies upon the floor in the center of the room. Mm. Pretty much you can uh, um um pretty much you're right uh, being in such terrible shape pretty has Probably doesn't have any historic value. Pretty much, you can search a room. There's really nothing of interest in here. Aw. In fact, it's disappointed. Aw, poor knickknack. Okay. Yeah. So, heading back out. Pretty much, you can check for secret doors and stuff. There are none out of here. Right. So we are back at the intersection. Which way would you like to go? Hmm. I think I'm going to go north. You want to head up this way? Yep. Yeah. All right. Heading into this room. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh, this room is approximately 50 feet long and 20 feet wide. There are five foot alcoves at regular intervals on the left and right walls in which a set of bunk beds sits, each with a chest nearby. A huge rug runs through the center of the room and a 10 foot wide archway on the other end of the room, opens up into another chamber. Mm. Mm. Well, well, Nick Nick would like to um, you know, take a closer look at these uh, chests there before we move forward. Yeah, I'll, make, I'll check and make sure they're not trapped. Okay. I might as well roll it. All right. Uh -huh. We have a uh, Le Hawk in the chat. Le, Le Hawk? Le Hawk. See, we are dignified Hawk. It's a very dignified Hawk. Le Hawk. <laughs> yeah, we're searching those real good. Okay, there's really not anything in here. But you can go around and check and look through all the things. And um, as you look into the next room, uh, this is a 25 foot by 20 foot chamber. Also, obviously, the quarters. For some, uh, for someone of high, um, as before, desk, armoire, dresser, and bed. 
the rug very rich richly woven and in surprisingly very good shape hmm. obvious historical value Can roll it up and put it. Well, once we once we clear the level, the dwarves can come down, but we can let them know that it's here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. So, and pretty much, you search for secret passages out here. There are none. Oh. Which means. Uh, wait. Uh, didn't you say there was uh, some sort of a uh, passage up to the north here? There was. That was this room up here. Ah, okay. That's what we were looking at. Okay. I will rejoin the rest of the group then. All right. So we are back down here. Now, going down the hallway, you can see that this, that it continues forward. Mm -hmm. And also, there is a... Um, you're like at T intersection, and there's a passage right to the right, and it looks like it um, may open up into a four-way intersection down there. Guys, I, I there's also you can see faint movement. Yep, um, Gabby Vision uh, sees uh, something moving toward us down here. Uh huh. Uh, further down, I can just barely see it. I have to deal with it. Uh, move forward. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Taking the past the right to the right, you can see that it ends in a four-way intersection. To the right is a, uh, let me see here, is a 10-foot square alcove. Uh, to the left, you can see that the hallway continues on. And... Ahead of you, you can see that the hallway opens into a chamber inside which you can see movement. Man. And, oh, Nick does not like the looks of these as usual. And these are not skeletal figures. Mm. But, uh, They are, of course, zombie zombies. Oh, my freaking God! <laughs> no, that was a zombie roll. They roll a one on their initiative. Oh, uh, they're going. Uh, they're going slow. And Ariel on her initiative. Uh, who do you freaking who? James Quincy and Ariel had the same initiative. So you all Ariel, get but, to. Ariel has the uh, advantage now, for some reason. Um, well, technically, I'll it's, give it uh, to her. Ladies first. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, thank, thank you. My, my mom raised my mom raised me right. Okay, so we will have Drogan going first. Okay. They are just far enough away that I have to do a double move. So I can't raise my shield, but I will slash it one. <clears throat> Let's go for it. Oh, and that's definitely going to, I think, I think that's going to hit because they have crappy AC. Hmm. Um... Yes, that will hit uh, for 11 damage plus 5 because they have weakness to, to slashing. So they take a total of 16, and that one, is, he takes 16, and that one is still up. Oh. 
Knick knack. Uh -huh. Yep. Knick knack. Knick knack. Petty whack. Yeah. Well, Knick knack uh, likes the idea of maybe uh, getting this guy down real quick. Heck there. So uh, Knick knack is gonna do. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yep. Buzz off. Uh, and does a fourteen hit? A fourteen will hit. All right, and it does, um, uh, it does six damage plus yep. five, nice. so that's a total of eleven to him. Nice, and he's still up. He's still up. He's got a lot of hit points then. Whoa! Zombies are zombies are no joke, guys. Wait, wait. Ariel will move up, and she will attack twice. She will attack with long sword and short sword. Long sword will hit for ten slashing. The short sword will miss with a natural one, but uh, fifteen damage to him will take him down. Oh, thank goodness! As far as I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> chicken soup and chicken noodle mm -hmm. James Quincy will move here and we're ready in action to heal somebody if they get hurt Billy you're up And now the question is, do they go honk honk? Le honk honk? honk. And if it drops, okay. All right. Which one are you attacking? This one? Um, or are you attacking this one? Okay. So, attack. Yep. Defense noted. That will hit and that will crit. So you will drop him. Okay, and then the other one I will take. Actually, that one with being five less that that will miss. Oh. Okay. Oh. Illy will get attacked three times. Ooh. Well, three times. I thought these things were slow and clumsy. They're slowed one. Does right. that mean they only get two attacks? Right, right. Okay. Basically, they lose an action every round. Okay. The so one he'll attack twice. Yeah, the one that didn't move can attack twice. The one that did move can only attack once. I believe Illy's armor class is better than 17. Yep, 18. Yep, so that's a oh, miss. 19. Um, the one that moved will attack Ariel once. Ooh, but that's going to hit. Okay. Reaction goes into effect. Now, since it's undead, they either negate all damage or resist seven and be enfeebled. Uh, negate all damage. And finally, Drogon, a uh, new two attacks. That misses. That may hit. I think that hits because I couldn't ready the shield. Okay, so the you will take no, uh, bum, 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 bum. Nope, it's twenty without the shield, it's twenty two with, so it misses. 
Oh, okay. All right. Drogon, you are up. All right. Uh, first attack will be the one in front of me. Assume that hits. Um, it was the first attack, which uh, I think is a crit. Yes, it is. And the second attack will also miss. And you will also hit. Okay, so the crit will so do... So pretty much you do a total of 20 damage slashing on it, right? Uh, 25. Okay, and which one? This one? That, that was, Yeah, that was with the crit. Okay, that's dead. All right, the second attack is a 19. That will hit. So with the uh, vulnerability, it takes 17. Still up. Um, a, yeah, I'll go ahead and take a third attack instead of raising the shield. That's so, a hit, and it only has three hit points left, so it will die. Because I do a minimum of... You'll do a minimum of six. More than that. Minimum of uh, nine. Okay. Draw a knick-knack. Ah, knick-knack back up. Uh, okay, let's see. Knick-knack. I should have range there. Yep, knick-knack's got some range. I'm gonna throw a whirly blade. And does a 20. That might possibly crit him. Uh, it does crit him. Alright, so. Man, it's nice. Mm -hmm. 10 point. Alright, so 15 plus 5 is 20. Guess what? Yep. You kill it. Yay! All right. Um, searching the room underneath the table, you find two potion bottles. Ooh. I think I wonder what these are. One is pink, one is blue. Hmm. The pink one is a healing potion lesser instead of minor. Oh. And the potion is a potion of water breathing. Right. So the pink one is not. Stop, stop, stop. The pink one is a potion, a healing potion lesser. Uh, and I thought it was Tums for a moment. Hmm. And... and the blue is a potion of water breathing. Hmm. I wonder why Doris would need water breathing potion. All right. I tend to sink. You've got a ticket on the Heartburn Express. Okay. Okay, so, so we had an empty... Co uh... No empty room. You have an empty cul-de-sac here. Mm -hmm. You had this little room, which... I might as well. I think that... I don't know. And you can see that it, there's a four-way intersection up here. All right, well... I think I would like to check out that cul-de-sac real quick there, because I think I don't see cul-de-sacs too often. Cul-de-sac, uh, you check it, and you make me a... Hmm. Um, and you check a cul-de-sac. I'd be, be happy to... Uh, 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 hold on, hold on. The toothbrush has been invoked. Yes, it has. Well, I didn't get to do it for him yesterday, so... Go ahead. Okay, natural 20. Perception. There is absolutely nothing here. Alright. And now you're about to find why I named this module 
an unexpected kinship. Moving up to here. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, like the other dormitory you saw, this room is 50 feet long and 20 feet wide. There are five foot alcoves at regular intervals on the left and right walls, in which a set of bunk beds sits, each with a chest nearby. A 10 foot wide, um, a huge run, rug runs through the side of the room. 10 foot wide archway at the opposite end of the room opens into a hallway which travels a short distance before making a sharp left. What really surprises you at the most are the creatures which inhabit this room. Three of them are obviously undead, but more robust than the zombies you've encountered so far. Uh-oh. The third <coughs> is no undead but a dwarf with ashen gray skin and a ratted beard. And he carries guy. a maul and bears a holy symbol upon his chest. Mm. This yeah. is the first living creature you've ever encountered in Bright Sword Halls. And <laughs> at this point, let me clear the... Are we, close enough to, uh, be, are we close enough to get a good look at the uh, holy symbol? Yeah, yeah, you can make it make a religion check. Whoa, okay, so he will go on his own initiative, they will go on their initiative. Do you want me to re roll time? I had a 21, but I didn't click on my. I got it. I can add it in. I'm going to use a hero point to reroll my initiative. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Oh, you, got, you got 21, uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm real heroic because I wound up with a worse. <laughs> It was meant to be. How bad was it? That was a he had an eight, now he has a seven. Oh, God. Even worse. <laughs> All right. I feel so sorry for him right now. I'm debating whether to use another hero point. I think I will. Oh, wow. Going all out, huh? I yeah. There oh, we go. That's better. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, did we mention this uh, particular game is not meant for kids there because we use a uh, crude language and such? Yeah. It's for adults by adults, even if we don't act like adults. <laughs> yeah. Just like LC <laughs> Just like LCRB, honey. We may not act like adults, but we are. <laughs> okay. Ariel initiative. Oh god. How bad is it? Oh, twenty two. Not bad. We also pretty good in the And have you rolled James Quincy's initiative? And he's on 27, so, wow. I'm speedier than everybody. <laughs> and showing off that color that. speed. That guy's not even going to talk. Okay. Here I come to save the day. Well, we're going to start this right off the bat with something that we know will uh, injure them. And I'm going to do the three, um, the uh, three action version of this. Lance, are you going to go kaboom? Yep, you're going kaboom. Oh, 
All right, so now, um, pretty much they get a basic fortitude save. And the zombies basic fortitude save the plus six. What is my um what is the DC on this? Uh it would be your class DC, which would have gone up a Ow. Up. So I take it you got a let's see. I mean you got a uh, eighteen wisdom, right? Spell DC is uh yes, eighteen wisdom. So yeah, you'd be uh, DC eighteen right now. Okay. Excuse me guys. <laughs> I'm so the spell DC is that is that trained? Uh, yep, right now you are at trained level. All right, so DC eighteen. Mm -hmm. The first one makes it. PC two does also makes it. And they all made it, so they take half of the D8. Yep. Well, roll that beautiful bean footage, and that looks like a three-point. <laughs> bean footage? <laughs> Anybody around here got any beans? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. C sharp. <laughs> oh, only no, you no. would know the tone of that. <laughs> that sounded more like C flat to me. Yeah, it might be. No. Okay, Drogon, you're up. Yeah, he thinks his girlfriend's sharp. <laughs> so I move up, bring my shield, and take a swat at the one directly in front of me. Okay. <sighs> Assume that's at least a hit. Uh, this sucker is. Uh, let's see. Are you see thirteen? So yes, that's a hit. Um, is it less than that? Flat-footed. Um, it just says AC thirteen. Okay, then it's just a four plus if they takes extra from slashing. Uh, it does, and it takes even more from slashing than the other ones do. Mm, nice. Oh, so they're very... <laughs> Weaknesses are positive. Oh, wait a minute. My three hit points that I did to them before add another ten. Because they have weaknesses of positive ten. Oh, nice. Okay, so they since they both made it, uh, they took eight instead of three. Well, the uh, uh, weakness would apply after the uh, damage there, so they would take thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Because ten plus three is thirteen. Mm. All right. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Ariel will move up next to Drogon. One move. And then one slash of each weapon. Long sword and short sword. Long sword is a crit. Ow. Nice. So, and look at the crit damage. Yeah, I saw that. That is wonderful. Um... By the way, you uh, you created on the crit damage here. Um, so they will take set. This one will take seventeen from 
the um, slashing damage. So that, and he already took 13, so that brings him up to 30. He will then take 34 slashing damage from the crit and dies. Nice. And on her second, and on her other attack, hell. Uh, did you, Nick Nick get skipped, by the way? I think he might. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I had a 22 on my... Or, we have a nug. Where is Nick Nick? Uh, Nick Nick is right here. Okay. He's not on the initiative tracker, though. So, you had 22? Yeah, so. We're going right after, uh, Ariel. All right. Also, so, um, Ariel still has one attack left with the short sword. Yeah, go for it. So, how about another crit? 19. Am I just hurting people today or what? <laughs> <coughs> and then with that uh -huh. deletion Aww. okay with that okay. Down, I will well, hold on. So I, I get a reaction with it okay. going what level are these undead these are well, I believe level 2 no Thanks, I'm, well, really? Minus yeah. one? Maybe, uh, I don't think so. Uh, no, if it's zombie brew, it's level two. No, it's not. It's not, a, it's not you know, an official. Oh, it's a okay. zombie variant. And I'm looking it up. Hold on, I'm pulling up the bestiary. Plague Zombie is a creature one. Ah, okay, that's fine. Okay. Then I get uh, three temporary hit points. Oh, cool. Now, Nick Nick. Yep, now Nick Nick. Now Nick Nick. And unfortunately, Nick Nick's going to have to move up. Yeah, because he's just out of range. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, Snickknack will move to right there, and uh, let's do a uh, little a whirly blade on uh, Mr. Uh, Unknown here. And that is going to be a probably a miss. I know which one, this one? Uh huh. That'll hit. Oh, that's a, oh, that's another zombie. Okay. Yeah, that's see. another zombie. Yep, that's a hit. Back that's here. gonna be uh, six slashing. So six plus ten is sixteen. Mm, not bad. Okay, so he's still up. Ew, these guys uh, smell poo poo. Yeah, they do. Um, Illy, you're up. I'm gonna take him with my rapier and I'm gonna shoot this guy with yeah. Okay. Um and now I can do that without having to worry about now. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a rapier, so that's definitely a crit. So you'll do a total of 17 damage. Pure. But, let's see, 40, 29, 39, 7 is 46. Okay, he's still up. 
Actually, he's front footed. Guess what? You got, uh, sneakies. You got sneakies, and that will kill him. Nice. Okay. For the love of sneakies. And the crossbow. Okay, you shoot your crossbow. AC 26 will hit him. Definitely not, definitely not a crit. But he will take uh, five piercing. Hmm. He, um, it's a sneak attack. Uh, that is true, so he will take a total of nine. Okay. And at this point, he's probably pissed. <laughs> I, I would say. He disappears. Like being sick right now. <laughs> pissed as hell. He disappears. He disappears. Uh oh. He went bye bye. Nick not going like that. <laughs> Nope. <coughs> he just, he just, there's no puff of smoke or nothing like that? No. Nope. No visual effect? Well, there's a visual effect, but he's just not there anymore. Right. Uh. Hello? Excuse me. They'll feel it if he tries to walk past him up there. I'm going to search around. All right, well, hold on, because that was one action to disappear. Second action was to move. The third action will be this. Oh, damn, he swings at you and misses. Me? Yep. And pops back in right next to you. I just smile at her. Okay. The whole group's gonna go. James Quincy. Oh. He's a dwarf, you said? He is a dwarf. Um, actually, actually, Drogon knows what he is. He is a he is because he Drogon is a dwarf. He is a Durgar. Oh. <laughs> Okay, nope, that missed. Drogon, you're up. Doesn't James Quincy have um, hero points, too? Oh, yeah, so you know what I do? Uh, you know what? I'm going to re-roll that. I'm going to re-roll that spell attack roll. That will shit. Okay, one more. <laughs> not gonna shit, man. Uh, that will hit. Yeah. <laughs> It'll hit, but not shit. That will hit, and therefore, <laughs> um, let's see here. No more shitting. <laughs> All right, so he will take six fire. Okay, now Drogon is up. Move. Take a hack at him. Oh. For the other two, uh, attack is an 18. Nice. That will hit him. Hey. Okay. Uh, 
double dipping again. Um, I guess just four slashing. He takes it. Hands. He takes it. I shield again. All right, knick knack. Okay, knick knack time. And knick knack will switch on his little uh, big lightning staff there. Uh, shocking grasp reach. Reach all three actions. So. Uh, I am going to re-roll that attack there. there you got it. it. There, uh, yeah, check and grasp again. Does a 14. That's a, that's a miss. That's still, I've got one more hero point. I'm going to re-roll it one more time. Oh, there we go. And that is a crit. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. You see, Nick, that goes. She, no, point your staff forward. It does nothing. Nick, Nick shakes his staff, shoots it forward again. Nothing. Nick, Nick slams on the staff. Gizorch. Gizorch. And it dies. Oh wow. Are you kidding? After 36 damage? Nice. Okay. Good searched. This was a Durga Taskmaster, a creature too. Oh. Okay. Now, searching through the room in one of the chests. You can find a wand. There is also an amulet. Mm. And okay. in another chest, it's a pouch containing 70 gold pieces. Oh. And I'm thinking James Quick is probably going to be the really amulet. It's a channel protection, protection am like amulet. Myself. So do I. I would, give it about it now. I would give it to JQ. Oh, Each of us is wearing an unlicensed nuclear this, uh... accelerator on his back. Okay, if you're holding on to this on. thing, when running this amulet, you That's gain resistance 5 against damage from harm spells, nuclear accelerator or if you're living against heal spells if you're undead. Hmm. So that actually might be a Gavi item, Oh, since, because he has the least amount of hit points. Oh, what's the item do? Um, if somebody casts harm on you... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like resistance 5 to it. Resistance 5 to it. Oh, and Nick Nick like shiny. Okay. Nick Nick like shiny things. The <laughs> wand is a wand of magic missile. Oh, oh God. Oh, I say give it to Nick Nick. Not the only one who can use it. Yep. Yeah, and wands do work a bit differently in second edition there because wands are basically you can use it once a day safely. Uh, you can try to use it a second time, but it's a 50 50 chance that it explodes on you and is rendered useless. Yeah, yeah not as great as it used to be. And then uh, going down here at the end of the hall where we see this hallway turning to right, guess what? Uh, there's the stairs down. Hey, there's our stairway. Hey. So we head back out. We head over to here, and we find a storeroom. Uh, nothing of interest in here. Of course, we there is the areas that we have not checked. Yeah, let's go check them out. Over here. 
Uh, where would over here be? Up oh. by where Ariel's at. I see him. Nick Nack, you can come stand by me. Okay. I can appreciate that. No, I'm that. not going to sing the song, I promise. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, looking in, coming in here and looking in and everything. This room is obviously a dining hall. A long banquet table. With no sign of the room. With its flatware and plates in very good condition. Two buffet tables lie along the south wall. A five foot wide hallway. Leaving the room lies in the northeast corner. Hmm. Um, the table where probably has some historical value. Oh, yeah, it's actually in pretty good shape. All right, next night we'll uh, gather that up there. Okay. And then we come up here. And it turns... And comes in here and oh boy, look at this, boys. Uh, yeah. This me... room is obviously the combination kitchen and pantry. Two ovens lie in the um, northwest corner. Two kegs along the east wall. Sacks of dried goods lie in the west wall, and a food preparation table lies in the southwest corner. And we've faced these guys before. These are zombie shamblers. So at this point, anyway, initiative. Let's do what we do best. Okay, it's on a fourteen. JQ is on twenty six. Ariel, if she comes oh, in. Hmm. Yeah, throat's kicking my butt now. Ariel is on a. Oh, not bad, thirteen. Not bad. Could be better, but I won't complain. And les zombies. Le zombie. Ooh, les zombies. Le zombies. Le honk. <laughs> I don't think les zombies deserve le honk, do they? No, no, I think that. But everyone deserves le honk. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Okay, well, luckily, James Quincy will go first. So, James Quincy, because he's the only one that's going to be going in front of these zombies. James Quincy will go first, and he will do... Um, he will do that voodoo that he do so well. Ambulance. Ambulance. My ambulance. Yeah. And that is. Oh, so this will be saving for four DC eighteen. And these bad boys. And basic fortitude saves. Plus six. Number one makes it. Number two fails it. One make, two failed, three made, four made. Five made. Okay, so number two failed. He's the only one who failed. However, they, they do have weakness, positive five. 
So number one will take nine. Number two will take 13. Number three will take nine. Number four will take nine. And number five will also take nine. That was JQ. Okay. And here come the zombies. Oh. Well, they're all going to have to move, so they're all going to get one attack. One of them doesn't have to move. No, there's a wall right there. There's a wall right there. Oh, okay. Yep, they have to move. Uh, great. JQ will get an attack of opportunity. Oh, that assumes that he actually has the attack of opportunity reaction. The what? And does mm, does James Quincy have the attack of opportunity reaction? Uh probably not. Yep. So yeah. So I don't get it. So, um, two attacks on JQ, three attacks on Ariel. Why is that always me? You have a better AC than me. That's why. Plus, I'm cuter. All right. So they only get one attack. <sighs> uh, first attack on James Quincy is a hit. Second attack is a hit. Thank God we leveled, because this would be a danger, danger zone. Yeah. And, that would be not pretty, huh? That's a total of 17 to James Quincy. Uh, oh I, I, will I will react to the first attack. All right. Uh, so <laughs> that would be a total of 9 to James Quincy. You just double check whether I was close enough to do that. Uh, <laughs> James Quincy is this guy or this guy? This guy. And okay, so did was this one of the ones that hit him? Uh, this is the one that hit him. Okay, so I can react to that. Yes. All right. They both hit him. Pretty much, they both have one attack. These three are now attacking on Ariel. Oh! Oh! Ouch! Ouch! How ouch are we talking? And that's a miss, but that was a crit. And that's a miss, but one crit. So two hits at d6 plus three. So you are taking 13 damage. So you're at 19 out of your 32. Drogan, you're up. And that sounds sexy. 
said, admit it, you think I'm sexy anyway. <laughs> attempt to tumble through. You're too sexy for your hanky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm too sexy. Failure. For you. <laughs> Yeah. So do they Not have, my fault I'm not cold. Do they have a reaction against me trying to move through and failing? Um I don't no, they can have they are permanently slowed one and can't use reactions. Okay. Then um I will try again and that should succeed. Yeah, that'll do it. Because I'm sure their uh, dex DC or their reflex is a lot worse. So uh, I will then. Reflex plus zero. Okay. So that was two moves, and I will. Racket doodle? I will swing at uh, the one directly to myself. Okay. That is a crit. That is death. Okay. Okay. Ellie, you're up. I'm with it. Um, not to get past that? Yes. I'm going to attack him with my first. I'm going to re-roll that. I got... I bet I should hit him. Oh. Uh, so my second attack. Um, did it drop him? Uh, let's see. Nine piercing. Uh, which one are you going on? This one or in this one? Yeah. And this one. Okay. Nine piercing. He's almost dead, but not quite. Okay. But now that will kill him. Okay. Nick, Nick. Nick, Nick. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nick Nick realizes these guys are pretty slow there, so Nick Nick going to try something a little different. Funky. Yeah. Play that funky music. Nick. Um. Play that funky music, Ryan. Ah, yeah. We're gonna go. Cam. Cam. Torch. Okay, I need a DC 18 reflex save from you. Nope. So one takes a full six. How about the second? Uh, okay, hold on. I'll take that. Go up to there and. Definitely no. Oh, that's a crit fail, so he takes ten more on top of that. That'd be this one? Uh-huh. And that will be death. Yeah, I like that idea. Ariel will go long sword, short sword, long sword. Damn it. And I think that was a C flat, babe. <laughs> yeah, that was Long sword. Definitely a C flat. <laughs> yeah, definitely definitely uh shitloads of damage. You know I love causing damage. Delete short sword on the other one. That's a hit. And she'll do the 13 damage. 
and take him down too. <laughs> Zombie said an AC of 12. Okay. This is negative five, right? Yeah, and and uh, weakness to slashing five. Okay. In this room, inside one of the empty kegs on the east wall, there are a couple of runes. Uh, is there still one of them left? Uh, this is it. This is the last room. He deleted my thing. I was just seeing one zombie. Okay. Yeah, he deleted me instantly. Oh, yeah, <laughs> my bad. My bad, but pretty much um, inside one of the kegs are two plus one potency runes. So uh, the things that make your thing plus one to hit, oh. I think. Hold on, I'm double checking. Yeah. Might as well, Ariel should at least get one of them. I think. Didn't Drogon get one? Yeah, to make his. uh... Mace? Yeah. So but pretty much a weapon potency plus one. Uh pretty much adds a plus one to the weapon. So just a hit, not damage. Just a hit, not damage. So I think Ariel will get one of those and does uh and does um dro does Drogon want the other for if his mace? Wants, uh, yeah, if nobody else wants it, yeah, for my mace. Yeah, go for it. Okay. So we head back to uh, pretty much we head back to the Great Hall. Returning to the Great Hall, you check in at Drogon's office to report your success. He looks shocked when you report that Durgar were working with the undead. This development needs to be dealt with. I'll probably be up in the city for meetings, so I'm giving you an unexpected 10 days above in the city. Oh. Yay! Be back here in 10 days. I'll be up there as well. See you when I get back. Durgan Blood X has been unflappable since you met him eight weeks ago. But your news about the Zorgar shook him. What danger does this present? What danger does this present to Raven's buff mm. and to yourselves? Only time will tell. Yes, and that time the will be end. And this time, uh, we will actually have a full ten days off. No, oh, actually, uh, once again, one hundred and forty-two damage. <laughs> Let me say no, 142 XP. Uh, I was gonna say, babe. Okay. <laughs> now I'm I'm making these things as we uh, go through. So excuse me for not getting it done. Oh, you're fine. Do I have to spank you for that? Okay. The dwarven half plate armor. Does anybody want it? Hmm. Uh, my my split is just as good, and it gives me uh, resistance to slashing. So it's to sell that, right? Yep. yep. And we're probably going to sell the Dwarven Split Mail Armor. Okay, like I said, I'm making the starts up. 
Um, the split mail is for a 13 gold. Uh, I am going to use the rule that um, magical armor, once you put a, like a rune on it, mm -hmm. it will resize to fit the wearer. Oh, that's fine. Okay, are we, are you still there? Uh, yeah, I'm still here, I'm just, like ah, I said, okay. making up the certs as we go. Um, let's see, the, the armor is size medium, which is very weird that dwarves are medium-sized creatures now. Yeah, they're on the small end of medium size, but they're still medium size. And the... Suits of armor are common. The mesmerizing opal. It is worth seven gold, but it is uncommon since it is part of the level two treasure. All right. Um, it is tiny. Uh, does anybody want it? I don't know. What do you think, babe? <clears throat> okay. Hold on. Uh, once again, mesmerizing opal. Is it something Ariel could use? Mesmerizing opal uh, triggers deception check. Um, pretty much. Um, that. Kind of sounds like a uh, Illy item. Yeah. All right, so I think we'll give that one to Illy. A half plate, it says, comes with a set of padded armor that you wear under it. Does the padded armor AC bonus stack with the... No, it doesn't. No. Okay. Okay, so Ellie gets the opal. Yeah. Let me date that one. The next mm -hmm. one is the Belladonna Poison. Mm, I definitely yeah, would not we use were, that. I don't think we should sell it either. We might as well. You can sell it. Yeah. Yeah, but then somebody's going to be able to use it. Yeah. All right, so we're selling the uh, split mail armor, and we're going to sell the belladonna poison. Mm -hmm. Yep.
All right. So that is sold. Mm -hmm. Put the date on the cert to 2320. Uh, and it was worth five gold. Away, I don't want to talk to you. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Uh, was that one of those uh, the robo calls? That was from Florida Blue. Florida Blue. Okay. Ver uncommon? No, I don't think so. Hmm. It's in common. Okay. All right. The next two items are going to be the plus one potency wounds. We said uh, Jordan was going to get one. Yep, and Jordan needed one as well. So. Plus one weapon potency oh, rune. Damn a hint. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. Oh, excuse me. Thank God I've got a Kleenex in my shirt pocket. <laughs> bless you, bless you, bless you. Yeah, bless you. <laughs> I'm the only one allowed to sneeze. I'm the one with the cold. Okay. And I did invoke the toothbrush. Yes, you did. Jesus. No need to invoke it next week, so. <laughs> Let me guess. Oh. I will take a hint. Larry? Speaking. Hey, it's Brenda. In the middle of something. Um... We have an appointment tomorrow. I'll just call it to confirm. Oh, what time was that? Um, it's at 11. At 11. Okay. I just need to double check uh, some things. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my point is so, so I will one. see you at 11 then. Okay. Thanks, Bye. Ariel will get one. I mean... Okay. Date that one. And Drug and Doom Guide gets the other. And put a date on that one. Okay, the healing potion lesser. Anybody want it? Yeah, uh, I've already got one, so. Well, I don't mind holding it, hanging that to the people who care. I used my minor one. I'm not this case before. Uh, let's see. Is it, what is it, a lecture of life? No, it's a healing potion lesser. So not minor. Not minor, lesser. That's more healing. Um... I think, um, you, do you want it, Ellie? Yeah. 
I got no problem with it. I have no issues. Okay, let me put data on it to 23.20, and then one more page of search left to do, mm -hmm. and that is the potion of water breathing. Yeah, give it to one of you guys there. Well, you know how James Quincy feels about water. Yeah. Yeah, I think he needs it more than So it's not else. a James Quincy thing. James Quincy has trouble swimming. James Quincy is what you would call anchor. Hmm. He will not mind it. Because remember, being on a ship makes him seasick. Yeah. And he just may fall overboard. <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> because there really is no wares around to save him. <laughs> I don't think yeah. Ariel could save him either. Yeah. Ariel's dressed in full plate. She's an anchor as well. All right. Um, finally, I think uh, we have knickknack items. Yep, I believe that was the wand and the uh, channel manager and thing. The final things are, and uh, I know knickknack can get this one. This is the wand. The one is worth 60 gold. It is small, it is uncommon. And this is a wand of magic missiles. So it's not like it doesn't have like 50 charges. Right, right. It's, yep, like right. I said, it's a. Kind of a once a day thing now. Now, maybe twice if I want to risk it. If you're feeling ballsy. <laughs> That's my job. I know. I'm taking it. <laughs> I want a web is nicer. But... I'll let you have a little brother. All right. And finally, the channel protection <sighs> amulet. Yep. So, Nick Nick gets that as well. Okay. Um, pretty much, when anybody tries to cast harm on you, you reduce it by five. Nice. This is worth 56 gold. And of course, uncommon. All right, and let me do this. So we wound up selling the two pieces of armor and the poison. So. Three. So the certs are done. Oh, shit. Okay, save as. Um, on 
unexpected kinship certs save save as a PDF all right and now let me just do the math real quick okay and I will come up with how much gold we got yay many tickly shines okay uh, as always uh, we sell for half value so 13 right. plus 5 plus and let's go down to the uh, Uh, 18 plus, okay, actually equals, okay, so, So thirty six plus seventy. I like equals one oh six divide by five. So twenty one point two plus eighteen oh. equals thirty nine point two gold each. Nice. Hey, uh, that's payday right there. In this game, yeah, it is. Um, so I take it you guys are definitely going to be spending some of this ill-gotten wealth. <laughs> ill-gotten. Hey, we worked hard for that wealth. We worked yeah. hard for it. We busted our asses, baby. Uh, pretty much uh, you guys are going to be Spending some of this on some magic items, so please email me uh, what magic items you are going to get so I can insert them for you. All right, sounds good. All right. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yes. by, by the way, uh, yes. payday, payday, payday. Mm -hmm. Yes, and by the way, officially there here because we have ten days off. Uh, we are taking next weekend off here. Both yes. Days. No yep. module at all for um, LCRB or LRGS. We are taking a full weekend off. Who's going to a con? Uh, that would be me there. I've got some uh, pathfinding to do. Pathfinding? Uh, yep. So. So. Alright guys, uh, that is going to be it for me here. So. Yeah, well, it does. Have a good time at the con. Uh, Chris, I will see you Friday night for our 5A module. Yep. Terry, I will talk to you soon. And Larry, I will uh, have a good weekend off next weekend. Talk to you in two weeks. All right, guys. Okay. Take care, everyone. And uh, if you're going to buy something, yep. email me so I can make up certs. All right, sounds good. Well, you already know what I like. <laughs> yeah. All right. And that's going to be it for us there. You all have a good weekend. We'll see you all in two weeks. So take care.